Hi, my name is Vivian and welcome. Today we are going to talk about villains and the top five I believe are the best villains. First, I'll briefly touch on what, a, what is a good criteria in creating a villain. I also have a video about how to create a villain, but in this video today, I'm going to touch briefly on this criteria and then we will get to our list. All right, the villain criteria. A villain is a hero is the hero of their own story. So when you are creating your villain, you have to see things from their own perspective because they believe that whatever it is that they are doing, that it is right. The next thing is that they have a goal just like the hero and they are willing to do anything to get their goal. It doesn't matter if it's morally gray, it doesn't matter if it's crazy or criminal, they're willing to do anything to get to the thing that they want. Every villain has a past, a character ghost, like K.M. Wieland likes to call it. So the villain isn't born bad. There is something that happened in their past a specific event that turned their life upside down and caused them to go down a dark path. Every villain has a strength, a skill that they master so that they can use that skill to get to their goal and also to frustrate the hero. Now that we have our criteria, let's get into our list. Top five villains. This list isn't in any particular order, but let's go ahead and talk about the first villain here. The first villain is named Penguin, um, also known as Oswald Cobblepot from the show Gotham. Penguin, also known as Oswald Cobblepot, is a famous enemy of Batman. In the show Gotham, he is Jim Gordon's nemesis. Penguin was also an underdog and was often bullied. What is Penguin's goal? Penguin's goal is to find purpose and to rule Gotham. He becomes involved with the organized crime in Gotham and becomes very powerful. What is Penguin's character ghost? Penguin was coddled by his mother. She always told him he will change the world someday. From his modest beginnings and his mistreatment, he believed he deserved to rule Gotham, and it was his destiny. What is Penguin's strength? Penguin's strength is to manipulate situations to his benefit. He is very conniving and charismatic. One thing about Oswald I noticed is that whenever Jim Gordon was in a bind and needed help, Oswald was available to help because he knew that in the future he could use that against Jim Gordon so that he can get away with the schemes that he has um, going on in the future. The second villain on our list is Walter White from Breaking Bad. Now, I would love to do a character breakdown of Walter White if you would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. But I understand he is the protagonist of the show. Regardless, what he does in the show is bad and it is criminal. But it goes back to the criteria, the villain criteria we went over earlier. And in this show, we're seeing the narrative from his perspective. Again, a villain is a hero in their own story, right? Walter White fits that. His brother-in-law, Hank, is the antagonist, but really, he is the hero because he is the DEA. What is Walter's goal? Walter's goal is to provide for his family, to make sure his family is well off financially. He wasn't making a lot of money as a chemistry teacher, so he starts cooking meth. What is Walter's character ghost? Walter and a couple of his friends started a company, and there was a falling out. He pulled his investment out and used the money for a down payment for his family's house. 
Years later, the company becomes successful and he's stuck as a washed up chemistry teacher. In a situation like this, I get that will take a blow to someone's self-esteem, especially when Walter was the brains behind the science the company is making money on. Walter being such a brilliant scientist and not doing more with it, but being a chemistry teacher, I believe was part of the reason um, that drove him to dabble in criminal activity. Because the product that he made was unique and in high demand and it gave him purpose It made him feel like, hey, my brilliance isn't going to waste. Plus, I'm also making so much money from this that I can take care of my family. What is Walter's strength? Walter's strength is science, specifically chemistry. He was a brilliant chemist. He also was good at keeping what he was doing away from his brother-in-law, Hank, and throwing curveballs at the DEA. The third villain on our list is Regina, the evil queen from the show Once Upon a Time. Regina is the evil queen from the show and Snow White's stepmother. What is Regina's goal? Regina's goal is to have a happily ever after and in order to get that, she believes she had to kill Snow White. What is Regina's character's ghost? Regina was in love with a stable boy and Snow White told Regina's mother, the queen, and she killed him. The love of her life. Regina hated Snow White so much and chased her down to kill her. When that didn't work, Regina went to extremes to create a fake town where she had her happily ever after. But all the other fairy tale creatures forgot about their past lives and their identity their true identity. What is Regina's strength? Regina has leadership qualities. She was a queen of the kingdom and also a mayor of a town. And she was also a very skilled witch and very skilled with magic. The fourth villain on our list is Klaus Michelson from the shows The Vampire Diaries and The Originals. Klaus is an original vampire who is also a werewolf. What is Klaus's goal? His goal is for his family to stay together and to not be alone. Like when he stabbed each family member with a stake and kept them in coffins for hundreds of years. Well, at least they were all together, right? What is Klaus's ghost? He had an abusive childhood. His father, Mikal, I believe, was cruel. Because he wasn't his dad, his mother did have an affair with a werewolf and she casted a spell on Klaus to suppress his werewolf side. Klaus always felt abandoned and unloved and cursed and an outsider. He was sick of that feeling and wanted to unleash his werewolf side. Once he broke the curse, He would be the only hybrid in the world and he suppressed his loneliness by becoming a predator. He would turn vampires into hybrids and they will be sired to him. That was one of the ways he dealt with his loneliness. What is Klaus's strength? His strength is that he was the only hybrid in the world. His bite killed humans and vampires His blood is the only cure for his bite, and he was the most feared predator in the world. And best believe, he used that to his advantage. The fifth and last villain on our list is the thinker, Clifford DeVoe from the show The Flash, season four. The thinker, Clifford DeVoe, was a history professor at Central City University. He was an extreme humanitarian who believed technology was corrupting humans. What was Clifford DeVoe's goal? Clifford and his wife saw the progression of human development through the acceleration of Clifford's mind. And he believed his own genius wasn't enough to distribute his knowledge to mankind. His wife developed a thinking cap using dark matter to amplify Clifford's intelligence, 
but the particle accelerator exploded, creating several bolts of enhanced lightning, one of which hit the thinking cap, making DeVoe quote-unquote enlightened. What is Clifford DeVoe's character ghost? After the success of the experiment, Clifford was experiencing rapid degeneration of his body, slowly paralyzing and causing him seizures and pain. With his body trying to maintain the vast intellect of his enhanced brain, the rest of his body was not receiving the energy it needed to function. Thus, Marlies, his wife, built DeVoe a hover chair that plugged into his brain to slow down the deterioration of his body. What is Clifford DeVoe's strength? Because of the capacity of his intellect, he could see millions of outcomes of the future and can manipulate events so that a particular outcome will come to pass. How can you be a villain that can see millions of steps ahead of you, knows exactly what you're going to do based on your actions, and can adjust the events to get exactly what he wants. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I do have free how to um, create your character profile worksheets down below. Go ahead, watch the next video here. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!